welcome back to my channel. I hope you all doing well. Today we're gonna be learning some basic photo editing techniques in Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. Okay, so let's start the tutorial. Here we go. So here is my Lightroom catalog. We will be gonna be starting with uh, the this thing. I have already opened the uh, photo which we have to edit but I'll show you how to open it and import the file from your computer okay so from here we will be going to file then in the drop down you will be opening to this one import photos and video click on that let's click on that the window will pop up where it shows all of these things a uh, little bit slower so why that thing so here I am this is a window C that's uh, the, from here we will be opening up the, the file where exactly the file is going to be so here it's now we can see all the file is been already selected uh, we have to choose which uh, file you want to edit right now you can see uh, if this file my file is already been imported so this will show like that otherwise it will show like this so if you want to edit or uh, click on others uh, other file or a foot picture then you have to click on this one and then just go to import and it will get imported to the file since I have already uh, imported the file there so I'm not gonna do that I'll directly gonna start it okay so here we go here is the window this is a library section where we will see this photo we have to edit the picture we have to go to develop section here we go now you can see the complete picture in full screen so uh, I'll just show you some of the glimpse how uh, where to start how to uh, how to start okay so this is the whole thing where we gonna be editing our picture like they these are the uh, highlights shadows colors split toning details where we will be doing sharpening thing lens correction if there is any distortion or some kind of color uh, my chromatic aberrations then we will be doing some changes in that so I'll go through one by one okay so let's start here we go uh, so what we will be doing here is uh, let's show you some basic editing uh, with this picture so since this I can see we if you want to change it a little bit of the exposure a little bit of I'm just putting up some little bit of contrast this exposure basically shows the height how you want to put up the lights basically like this that's the whole thing it's all depend on the photo which you had clicked before so I have already uh, adjusted the exposure now I have to do the contrast contrast is basically it will show a little bit of black little bit of sharpness and little bit of saturation it gets see how it goes I'll just do it a little bit uh, more towards a little bit more contrasty look because I like that way okay so now we'll be doing some highlights and shadows okay so highlights basically we'll just put up some just do a little bit of highlights I don't here you can see the highlights I have once I changed it I just minimize the highlights too so that I can see some of the clouds okay so let's put up this now we will be doing some shadows 
just increasing the little bit of shadow so that we can see a little bit this section now this whites and blacks basically whites and blacks is for where you see the white section mostly the highlighted section we will be changing a little bit if we want to otherwise we can just keep it like that see how it is happening okay so as you know right now uh, with the black and white i don't like, want to uh, make any changes in black and white i would rather keep it colorful this picture because it looks lovely here so now what we're gonna be doing is uh, now come to the second section it's tone curve people do it like this uh, by making changes in this or by making changes over here as well it's all depend on yourself since we are just doing some basic stuff basic editing so I'll show you a little bit easier one here we go see how it's happening I'll just make some changes in the highlights little bit darks see how it's happening just like that shadows perfect if you want to put some highlights in there you can otherwise you can just avoid it it's okay not a problem okay so now here we go this is very little bit trickier I'll show you in an easier way so basically this is hue is basically used for making the color changes or something like that since uh, here you can see greens and blues mostly and a little bit uh, actually just green and blues sorry <laughs> so let's do it some changes in green and blue see how it's happening look over there purple to blue little bit sky blue oh it's getting odd let's just keep it like that uh, no perfect perfect okay see how it's happening so you place like that learn this this is the second section it's basically the saturation uh, how you want the colors to pop up like if you want to this green color to it is it's looking more saturated so let's just change it a little bit see how it's happening like that see how that's 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 the changes we can do in that if you wanna see I don't like that but in fact let's just keep it like that let's just leave it uh -uh, sorry luminance luminance work like on the mid tones and all so if you want to make some changes see I can't see any changes here because I am just changing the red which is nothing over here so if you want to change something like that see suddenly a lot of things are getting changed mostly the highlights are being targeted in this luminance okay if I want to make some changes over there then only I have to touch it otherwise it's okay no problem we can leave that aside okay let's do the split toning okay see look at the changes this plays a very good role in any picture I like it this is my favorite part actually to do any changes see this plays a highlight section and this plays the shadows where over here we can see the changes if we want to make it just a little bit is perfectly all right to make any changes I would rather keep it a little bit morning kind of look I like it that way see balance basically work uh, between highlights and shadows see 
if I want to keep a little bit bluer, like blue in tint, uh, then I can just put up like that. Otherwise, I can use a little bit warmer tone. I can use this one. Okay. Let's go to the details section. Okay. Uh, I just forgot to tell you. We can see the changes over here by just toggling this thing. See? I just made a little bit changes so you can see a minute changes in there. If you want to if you don't like the changes you can simply put that off this means off so you won't see this this gets off basically see that's how it can get okay let's come down to sharpening if you want to put any if you want to make any changes in the sharpening and all then you can do that as well over here Basically, if the photo is a little bit blurred out or something is happened, then you can use this options. This is amount how much you want to keep. I like to keep it a little bit minimal because with the sharpness, there you will be getting noise as well with the sharpness. Okay, I like to keep it like that way. Details, how much detail you like to keep okay and then comes noise reduction basically this option is used for when the photo has some noise in that so you can see i like it this way a little bit will be much better because it makes the picture a little bit softer okay detail it's all depend how you want to keep how much detail you want to keep in the fit picture Oh, after using this noise reduction okay now let's come to lens correction lens correction is basically used to make some changes if there is any kind of uh, distortion in the picture is there okay okay let's do it remove chromatic aberration chromatic aberration is basically it's a vast topic but I'll just uh, simplify in a simple way it's basically used for uh, in in the sh uh, in the section where uh, you will see some kind of light color cringing kind of things which you see uh, in my picture I can't see that because my lens is pretty much better uh, it just removed cr chromatic aberration from the lens itself so I don't like to do that I like to keep it enable profile correction basically this makes the photo a perfect light, perfect one. I use Sony. See, I just clicked on the Sony and everything turned out. The model, the profile, what lens you are using and all those stuff. Distortion, if there is any distortion in the picture, you can use that as well. Then manually, you can do that as well. I don't like to touch all this thing uh, but I like this section vignetting vignetting is used to just to highlight a picture I like it to keep a little bit vignetting you can see um, when I'm just using this amount how much it's getting changed like, but it's just changing from the sides we can change it from over here as well see that's how it's looking perfect we can do that over here as well I'll show you another section over there but before that I have to I want to use this I want to show you this section as well it's basically used to make any changes of the picture like I don't like this thing so I would rather use an auto uh oh, it's not happening. Okay, one second. Let's use vertical. Oh, it's not happening <laughs> then too. Let's try. Basically, verticals or horizontals are used like this. See how oh, it's happening. Con constrain crop, so it will make some changes in that. And then I use the crop. This is the crop. I'm so sorry to explain that section as well crop is basically really good to 
remove any of the section which you don't really like see perfect see. crop done see the white patch has gone now now we have to make some changes over here vignetting when I told you vignetting how it's happened see I'm doing some changes in the vignetting thing then comes green when you want some noise in that then you can use this green section basically mostly people don't like noise in their picture but some of the time in black and white uh, if you want black and white picture then you can use noise it looks a little bit uh, vintage it, it just pop up like a vintage picture you want to create you can use this uh, section I will keep it off because I don't like to keep the noise in my picture that's it so that's the whole thing this is uh, I guess this is basic uh, editing I wanted to showcase okay now uh, how to export it before that i'll show you what how the changes is been made and see what all changes been made look at the picture this was the picture and i made it this way see how is this changes been done it's looking good right that's that's how lightroom works with the basic editing also you can do a lot of changes okay I now we have to export this thing we will go to file then we'll go to export either we have we can go by this way or we can use Control shift E okay it will take time to remember rather than you just have to click on the drop down in the file and go to export click on that the window will pop up export one file okay if you want to uh, do lot of file export uh, like a batch file then you can do that as well it's totally up to you okay first of all look at over here export to hard drive where you want the file to be storage okay so I like to keep it in my hard drive so I would rather choose this option it's a default option uh, mostly uh, I'll choose hard drive then I'll go to a specific folder I have already made a folder so I have made this section as to keep all my uh, photos to be saved in that okay now let's go down file name if you want to make any uh, naming for the file then you can do that otherwise since it's a it won't hamper to your old file it will make create a new duplicate file with the changes okay see how it's happening now we will go over here if you want to make any color quality changes uh, just to send it to somebody on uh, through whatsapp or you want to send it to some client by lowering the quality then you can make some changes over here i don't like to keep that way because since it's a uh, just a sample file i'm just creating so i'll keep it 100 okay then the rest of it will be the default okay now if you want to make any changes in some other software you can uh, make the changes over here after export basically once you click on the export button if you have clicked this option do nothing then it will directly uh, save it in the section where you have kept it uh, the settings basically otherwise if you want to make any changes in Photoshop you can click on this option okay I will keep as do nothing and export it and like this way it shows export one file that's done that's all it's needed 